Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code, biweekly contest one one zero. Um, it's a medium level problem, uh, theoretically, but I would say it's a very easy problem. Um, uh, I hope everyone is comfortable with linked list, right? So this problem is asking you to do something, and you just have to implement it, right? No logic involved, nothing, uh, right? You just have to be familiar with GCD, how to find GCD of a couple of numbers, and how to you know, uh, manipulate the nodes of a linked list, right? That's it. This is what uh, is required to solve this problem. Let's see what it says. The problem name is insert greatest common divisor in linked list, right? So it says that given the head of a linked list head in which each node contains an integer value between every pair of adjacent nodes, insert a new node with a value equal to the greatest common divisor of them, right? Return the linked list after insertion. The greatest common divisor of two numbers is the largest positive integer that evenly divides both numbers, right? Simple. For example, what's the GCD of 6 and 18? It's 6. Insert between them. What's the GCD of these two numbers? It's 2. Inserted between 6 and 10. What's the GCD of these two numbers? It's 1. Inserted between them. Simple. You have a single node, so you return the same list, right? How many nodes you can have? Just see. 5000 what's the value of each node this right so yeah let me directly show you the code and tell you a couple of things that you can take care in other problems related to linked list right so this is how you find gcd right um, a very standard algorithm right uh, euclidean algorithm right so this is how you find gcd of two numbers right so that's a totally different thing now this is the head of the list that i have right Remember, I will have at least one node. So I have not added the check for null condition, right? Now, what what I do, just see my approach is my approach is, look, I'm starting from here. So I have to find GCD of this number and this number. And I have to insert a node here. So if I have to insert a node here, and it's a single link list, that means to insert a node, I have to stand at a node. Just a second. Sorry. This is the position. Suppose I want to insert a node here. So I have to stand at this position, right? Because I'm moving in the right direction. I cannot stand here and insert a node before my position, right? So that means I am standing here. Okay. Now if I'm standing here and I have to insert a node here. So that value that I have to insert is dependent on the current value and the next value in the list, right? So that means if this is temp, so I'm dependent on temp value and temp dot next value. Okay. So temp.next should not be a null. So just see here, the loop that I have written here is temp.next is not equals to null. Generally you write temp is not equals to null. But why we have written temp.next is not equals to null? I am telling you the reason because I have to insert a node and to insert that node, I need two nodes between which I need to insert, right? So now if I'm standing at the last node, I, I cannot insert a value because I do not have the second value to find the GCD. So that is why till I have a pair, I'm doing this, right? So temp dot next is not equals to null, right? Now, the first value of the list is known as previous value. Temp dot next dot value is current value. Find the GCD of these two, right? So list node, this is the new node that we are inserting, GCD of current value and previous node. This creates a node, right? So this is my list. Suppose this is my list. So this has created a node, okay? now node dot next is temp dot next node dot next is temp dot next this is temp great so i have created this link now i need to remove this link and add this link so temp dot next equals to node great this link is created but now this is the new node that i have inserted right now i need to insert a node here so for to insert this node i should stand here so what i'll do i'll do from here i'll move to this position then i'll move to this position so temp equals to temp dot next temp equals to temp dot next. why two steps because one new node is inserted so one extra hop is there right but one extra thing i have done previous equals to current why i have done it because i started this i i told that this value is previous this value is current right what is current value temp dot next value when my temp was this now this will become previous for the next iteration and this will become current getting it i need two values right so that's why so that is why I have done this, right? Simple one extra step and we are done. And finally, you just return the head of the list, right? So two points to note here, though this is a very easy problem that what's the condition when the loop is stopping? And uh, this one, 
jumping a couple of times right by the way this is easy this is very logical once you make the diagram this is the main thing right you do not get null pointer exception now this also takes care of a single node in the list right suppose your list is like this so now you do not have a pair right so temp dot next is equals to null and hence you do not go inside the loop and you return the original list right so this is what you do so generally whenever you call uh, you know solve this linked list type of questions just see that do you really need to write those edge cases obviously it's good to write the edge cases but maybe the core logic that you have written takes care of the edge cases as well right like it does in this case right now also one thing i have not checked for head equals to null i have told you the reason for that because it says that you will have at least one node right so head equals to null is uh, that i can skip the second thing a single node i can skip because the core logic is taking care of that so the code has become clean right the code is clean obviously there are multiple ways to write the same code it totally depends on you this is just one of the ways to write the code right um and yet yes just return the uh, new list that you have created right so yeah that's it for the solution i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well let me know if you face any issues related to the logic or the code uh, let me know in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye, -bye.